Hi everyone, it's TTL back with another video for you. And yes, that is an AMD Radeon 7. So, when you first open the box, this is what you're greeted with. You get the card, as we've all been excited to see. But over here, although it doesn't really stay in place, which is kind of sad, but you get a uh, proper chip in the side of it. But the plastic cover doesn't stay there, so it comes out. You get a proper GPU core there, which is kind of a cool memento. But yeah, like I said, it just doesn't stay there. It's got a plastic cover that's, I think it's meant to hold it in place, but it doesn't. I'll have to see if I can fix that. And it is RGB as well. I've already banged the batteries in there. But I'll show you that lit up in a minute. But the card itself, subject to many, many memes online. I love the one where it's like six that way and six that way. It's huge. But it's still got a kind of Vega 64 kind of feel to it because you've got a solid aluminium top and then you've got all those lovely, excessively over-engineered corners, which hopefully my camera is going to do justice to. They look so good. You can see heat pipes and the like. I don't think I'm allowed to strip it to show you yet. We have to wait to show you that in the main review. So stuff that we can see, two eight pins, three obviously fans, fairly big copper plate there which when you think about the size of that copper plate must mean that it's in contact with the memory as well. And we can't really see a great deal of what's going on underneath. I'm going to assume that it's a vapour chamber going on as well. This looks like it's obviously going to light up red, just like the 64s. Black back plate, HDMI in three display ports. It does feel very, ve uh, yeah, Vega 64 actually. So with the Vega 64 for comparison, you can see that they've both got two eight pins. They've both got the red on either corner, both made of aluminium. Uh, the Vega 64 did have the uh, BIOS switch up here, which we've not got on the 7. Although the 7 does have extra um, ventilation points because this was more of a blower card and this one's not. So we've got more ventilation points, whereas the Vega 64 is completely enclosed. Backplate wise, the same sort of thing. Got the Vega logo on that one, but other than that, they look incredibly similar, if not exactly the same. I suppose they've not got the cutout there. Uh, the other thing really I'm noticing is when we look on this side, what we can see is this actually showed you your GPU usage and it was a bit of a, um, a splitter with most people because it could be quite off-putting when it was going up and down. And this hasn't got it at all. I can't actually see anything underneath either, which a lot of people will say is a much better idea. And then really the biggest change is on the front because we've finally gone with a, like an open system. It does look like an aftermarket card. Uh, it's up to you whether you think that's because of uh, NVIDIA going very different with their Founders Edition becoming more of a aftermarket kind of AIB card rather than an OEM card. The fins, if you look, don't aren't just underneath. You can see they come up the sides as well for extra surface area to aid cooling. Very clean and open design underneath there. You might think that sounds like they would all be like that, but they're really not. I'm gonna be looking forward to seeing how many heat pipes and stuff and everything are underneath, because like I said, I'm not allowed to strip it until actual review time. But you know I've got one. The NDA for the unboxing was the fourth. The NDA for the reviews, the full reviews is on the seventh. So stay tuned, come back on the 7th. The uh, Tinternet is going to be a flood with silver graphics cards. Are you excited? Because I am. As for the stand, I don't know, you kind of have to get it in right, really the right angle. There it does look a bit better. 
but as I said, my my core doesn't stay on the side, so I'm going to have to glue that on myself. It's a nice idea, but you need the room to be really dark, and even then it doesn't catch the light that well. Because if you turn it head on, you don't really see a lot. And uh, you just end up seeing that circle light. The, oh, I don't know. I think if it was going to be me, I would just leave it off.